Would you believe me if I told you that this ABC song video, the one you're watching right now, was made by me in just 10 minutes using only free AI tools? Take a look at the video I created just for you. Come along, it's time to play. The alphabet is on its way. Each letter's got a tale to tell. Let's learn them all and sing real well. A is an astronaut flying through the stars. Zoom and past the planets, zoom and past Mars. And what if I told you, you could do the same thing? No studio, no team, no animation skills, no singing. Just your creativity and a few AI tools that do all the hard work for you. Because the truth is, these viral ABC videos are shockingly easy to create. And almost no one is talking about this massive opportunity. And the best part, they're evergreen. Parents play these videos over and over again, 24 seven across the world. But here's where most people fail. They use the wrong tools, the wrong voices, the wrong visuals, and they miss out on going viral. So in this video, I'm going to reveal everything, the exact AI tools you need, the step-by-step -step method to create these songs fast, and how to optimize your videos to attract millions of views, even if you're starting from zero. Every hit kid's song starts with catchy music and colorful visuals, but don't worry, you don't need to be a singer or a 3D animator to make videos like these. We're going to use free AI tools to spark the idea, write the song, generate the images, and bring the visuals to life, all with just a few clicks. All right, first step. We're gonna use ChatGPT to help us write the song. So here we are inside ChatGPT. I'm just gonna type something like, I wanna create a fun and catchy kids song video. Can you give me some creative ideas, maybe about the alphabet, colors, or numbers? And boom, look at that. Instantly, ChatGPT gives me a list of ideas to work with. I'm really liking this first one, Alphabet Adventure. Super fun, simple, and perfect for kids. So next, I'll just tell ChatGPT, I love this idea, Alphabet Adventure. Can you write me some song lyrics for it? And yep, it gets to work right away. You can see here, we've got verse one, verse two, chorus, and it even keeps going all the way through verse six. Like the full song is done in seconds. Now that we've got the lyrics, the next thing we'll do is save them so we can use them in the audio and visuals. I'm just gonna copy all of this and paste it into Notepad or whatever you prefer. That's it for this step. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so now that we've got our lyrics from ChatGPT, the next step is to turn those lyrics into a song with real audio. And for that, we're going to use an AI tool called Suno.com. This site lets you turn any text into a fully produced song with vocals, instruments, rhythm, everything. And the best part, you get 100 free credits just for signing up. That's more than enough for what we're doing here. So once you're inside, just click on create, then go to custom. And this is where we'll build our song. In the lyrics box, we'll paste the exact lyrics we just got from ChatGPT. And down here where it asks for the style, we want something that fits a kid's channel. So I'll type something like, fun pop with a bouncy beat, super energetic, something children will love. Then hit create and let it do its thing. You'll see it working in the workspace here. And now our audio is ready. Let's hit play and give it a listen. Come along, it's time to play. The alphabet is on its way. Each letter's got a tale to tell. Let's learn them all and sing real well. A is an astronaut flying through the stars, zooming past the... Okay, yeah, this is great. It's catchy, upbeat, and totally fits the vibe we want. So now we've got the lyrics and the song. The next step, we need the visuals, pictures, and video clips to bring this to life. Let's move on to that part. All right, now that we've got our audio ready, it's time to create the visuals for the song. But before we jump into the AI tool to generate images, we need something first, the prompts. And for that, yep, we're heading back to chat GPT. So here we are again. This time, I'll type something like, now that we have the lyrics, can you write image prompts for each scene to help generate the visuals? Hit enter. And look at this. ChatGPT starts giving us image prompts for every alphabet in the song. Each letter comes with a clear, detailed description we can use to generate our visuals. Now here, ChatGPT pauses and asks if we want it to continue from M to Z in the same style. So yeah, just tell it. Go ahead and continue from M to Z in the same style. Hit enter, and there we go. Now we've got visual prompts for the entire alphabet, A to Z, but we're not done yet. Next, we need image prompts for other parts of the song, like the chorus here. So for that, I just type, please write image prompts for this part of the lyrics. And here we have the detailed image prompt for the lyrics. That's it. Now we've got everything ready. Full song prompts for each letter and extra scenes too. Next up, we'll turn these into actual images using an AI tool. Let's move to that. All right, now that we've got our image prompts ready, it's time to turn those prompts into actual visuals. And the tool we're going to use for this is called Pickluman AI. 
It's a free AI image generator, and it works great for creating that Pixar style kids content we're aiming for. So once you're on the site, go ahead and click launch app. That'll take you straight into the workspace menu. Now right here, you'll see a box that says describe your image. This is where we'll paste in the image prompts we just got from ChatGPT. And to get the style we want, I'll add something like in 3D Pixar style at the end of the prompt. That way, the output looks fun, animated, and perfect for a kid's video. The next thing we'll do is choose a model. Here, I'm selecting Flux.1 Schnell. Just click on that. It works really well for animated Pixar style kids visuals. Next, we need to pick the image ratio. Since we're making this for YouTube, the standard format is 16 by 9, so that's what we're going to choose. I'm also going to select two images per prompt, just so we get a couple of variations to choose from. Now hit generate and you'll see it start working right away. And just like that, here we go. We've got our first two images. You'll notice they're slightly different in style, so you can pick whichever one feels right for your video. Now let's keep it going. Just head back to ChatGPT, copy the next prompt, and paste it into the same box. Repeat the process. Same settings, same style, and generate the next image, then the next one, and so on. You'll just keep copying each prompt and pasting it in here until you've got all your visuals ready. Now, if you want to try another tool for generating visuals, there's also Leonardo.ai. And honestly, it works just as well. When you first sign up, they give you 150 free tokens, which is more than enough to create a full set of images for your video. So once you log in, this is what the dashboard looks like. From here, click into the image generation section, and over on the left sidebar, we're going to adjust a few settings. First, go to Presets and select Phoenix 0.9. That's the one we want. After that, go ahead and close the preset window. Then for the style, we're going to choose 3D Render. This gives that polished, animated look that fits a kid's channel perfectly. Next, under Image Dimensions, select 16.9. That's the standard YouTube format, so everything fits right when you start editing. Now go back to ChatGPT copy one of the image prompts we created earlier, and paste it into the prompt box right here. Once that's done, hit Generate, and you'll see Leonardo start creating the image in real time. And honestly, the results? They look almost 80 to 90% similar to what we got using Piclamon, sometimes even better depending on the prompt. So if you prefer this tool, feel free to use it. The steps are the same. Just copy the prompt from ChatGPT, paste it in here, and click Generate. That's it. All right, so now that we've got all our images ready, the next step is to animate them, to bring the visuals to life. But just like before, we'll need something first, prompts for the animation scenes. And yep, we're heading back to ChatGPT to help us out. So here we are back in ChatGPT, and this time we're going to type something like, now write 10 image prompts for the chorus scene based on the same lyrics. Make sure each prompt includes kids and alphabets. Hit enter, and boom, ChatGPT gets right to work. Each one gives you a clear and creative visual idea, perfect for animating the scenes and keeping it fun and engaging for kids. Once we've got all these prompts, we'll be ready to move into the animation tool and start generating motion. All right, now it's time to animate our images. And for that, we're going to use a tool called Hiluo AI. This is another AI platform that helps turn your ideas into motion. And good news, it gives you 100 free tokens to start with. Once you're in, you'll see a bunch of videos that other users have created on the platform. Feel free to explore those for inspiration if you want. But for now, let's go ahead and create our own. So over here on the left, click on Create Video. That'll take you to the main creation screen. Here, you'll see three options. Image to video, text to video, and subject reference. Since we already have our images ready, we're going to choose image to video. Now in the image history section, you can upload the images you generated earlier. Just browse from your computer or wherever you save them and start uploading. Once your image is in, scroll down to the prompt section. Here we will write any related prompt which best suit for animation. After that, scroll down a bit to the camera movement option. Click that, and you'll get a window with different animation styles to choose from. You can pick whichever movement fits best with the image's vibe. The presets also provide built-in settings. You can also use the Brainstorm with DeepSeek to generate ideas. After that, now select the model 12V01 Direct and click on this button to generate your animation. And now the It will generate your animation. Move on to the next image. Upload it. Write any related prompt which will help you to animating. Pick your animation style again, and keep going like this for all your scenes. Each animation will take a bit of time to render, so be patient, especially if you're on the free plan. And once all the animations are ready, you can preview them right here. Just go through each one and make sure they look good. And when you're satisfied, click download. And now we've got all our animated scenes ready. Now, if you want to try another animation tool, there's also Runway ML. And honestly, it works just as well maybe even faster. The setup is pretty much the same as what we just did in Helio. Once you're inside Runway, you can drag and drop your image right into the workspace. 
Then, in the prompt box down below, you'll write any related prompt which is perfect for animation. You'll have options to choose the video ratio and adjust anything else you want to fine tune the animation. When everything's set, just click generate and let it do its thing. And as you can see here, Runway is actually a bit quicker when it comes to rendering, so if you're short on time, it's a nice option. At the end of the day, both tools work great. So feel free to play around with them and see which one fits your style best. Once you've animated all your scenes, we're ready for the final step, editing everything into a complete YouTube video. All right, so we've got our audio ready, our images and animations done. Now it's time to put it all together into a full video. For this, we're going to use a tool most of you probably already know, CapCut. So here we are in CapCut. The first thing you wanna do is head to the Upload tab and upload all your animated clips plus the audio file we created earlier. Once everything's uploaded, just start dragging your visuals onto the timeline, one by one, in the order you want them to appear. Then drag the audio track down into the audio timeline right underneath. Now comes the important part, syncing. You'll want to match each clip with the right part of the song. So if the lyrics are singing about the letter A, you show the visual for A, and so on. It takes a little time, but trust me, it's what makes the final video feel polished. In between your clips, you can also add some smooth transitions. CapCut has a ton of them. Just preview a few and pick what looks good. Once everything's synced and looking smooth, we're ready to export. Now click on export. I am changing the bitrate to 12,000 for high quality video, named to kids rhymes. And after that, everything looks good, so click on export. And boom, the final video is rendering. And after exporting, the video will be ready to upload. You've officially created your own kids song video. No studio, no team, no animation skills. All by yourself using free AI tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. It truly means the world to us. We're dedicated to bringing you the best content, and your support keeps us motivated to create even more amazing videos.